surprised me. How was I supposed to know they had shear? Can you hear yourself at all? Easy for you to say. I regret that very much. I don't... The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Well, um, I hear noises. Yeah? What else? Oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how can I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are gonna pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it Turn Me On. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. A heart note? Hmm. The middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender. The obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be... Uh, controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Naira said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Naira wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. What did I do to you? You fucking go, go, see you, motherfucker! <laughs> 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 
Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. <sighs> wow. It smells... It's, oh boy, it's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. A, a car? Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the bass note, the smell of confidence is the heart note, and the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This'll remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then. Oh! <laughs> 
27 steps <laughs> straight ahead, then six. Hey, you okay there? Oh, damn it. He made me lose count. Once more. The bag's there. 13 steps from the entrance. 27. Wait, uh, two infected ran in at that point. Damn it. I'll never find it again. Find what? My father's CD. The future of mankind depends on it. The future of mankind? Mm-hmm. That's what my father says. Stellan Borg, a professor of cosmology here at the university. Heard of him? He wrote a famous paper, The Cosmology of Virology. Some next-level thinking. So what's on the CD? No idea. My father left it in a backpack. A bag. I don't know. I haven't checked everything. I was 13 paces from the apartment when two infected burst in. No, wait. Three. Do you want me to help you? Would you? Because I... I couldn't even... I, I mean, I could try. But three infected is too many. They'd kill me. Yeah, probably. Right, so here's the deal. The CD is in my father's bag, or a backpack. And the bag or backpack is in our apartment at 116 Bell Tower Road. That's west off of Horseshoe, close to Meatpacking Square. And remember, the fate of the human race may rest on you retrieving that CD. Father will pay you, uh, of course, when you bring him the CD. He'll be waiting outside the church. I got it. Oh, and here's a tip. Wait till dusk. That's when they leave. They're packed in there during the day. Five in the hall, then two up the stairs. No, three.
Ooh! <laughs> 